There's 120,000 patients right now waiting for an organ transplant. So today we're going to be 3D printing an ear. Our goal here is to develop technology which allow us to take CO2 back out of the atmosphere and do something with it. The bottom line is we're going to get to a place in the world one day where the majority of the meat made didn't require killing or confining a single animal. Our population will be 9.2 billion people by 2050. We're going to require 70% more food than it is produced today. Kelp is the next kale. It's a superfood. The single biggest limiting step, it's not the technology, it's not the funding, I don't think it's even the consumer adoption. It's regulatory. Right now, pepperoni pizza is regulated by the Department of Agriculture, whereas cheese pizza is regulated by the FDA. The rate of technological progress has proceeded at such a pace that the regulatory state has no way to adjust. I made Ian into chicken nuggets, and I was eating Ian while Ian was walking around on the ground. We found a way to create food without causing death. Who's being threatened by new meat? Answer the producers of old meat. Nothing could be further from the truth than the idea that big businesses don't like regulation. Big businesses love regulation. The number of startups is way down in the United States. It's fallen by about 50% since the 1980s. You'll never get a permit for even shellfish aquaculture in California. They haven't issued any new permits in 22 years. One thing that regulation's got to do is that it's got to be intrinsically reasonable. There's a beautiful simplicity to that. That's probably why it will never be adopted by Congress. If you have one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake, you're not going anywhere. We have to make sure that we allow opportunities to flourish and grow. Let's let a thousand flowers. One of my favorite quotes is, be ashamed to die until you've won some victory for humanity. I've been looking for a victory, and I think we found one.